A safety case is an argument that demonstrates the achievement of functional safety for items or elements. It is supported by evidence compiled for the work products of activities during the development process. A safety architecture is a collection of elements and their interactions designed to meet safety requirements. These architectures are defined at various levels including item, function, technical, hardware and software. It is crucial to recognize that the development of a safety architecture is not solely the responsibility of the safety engineer. It is a collaborative effort between the development and safety teams. Safety analysis is a crucial step in ISO 26262, providing both qualitative and quantitative information on system failures. There are two approaches, the top-down approach and the bottom-up approach. One method in the top-down approach is fault tree analysis, where we begin with violation of the safety goals as the top level event and trace down to identify all the root causes of the goal violation. Once we have identified all hardware or software failures contributing to the goal violation, we perform design failure mode and effects analysis called DFMEA. This analysis provides detailed information on the cause of these failures and their impact on the top level. For hardware component failures, it is crucial to identify single point and latent point failures and assign appropriate safety mechanisms accordingly. By conducting analysis such as FTA, FMEA and FMEDA, new requirements can be generated to ensure system safety. During the analysis process, various mechanisms like detection, prevention and safety mechanisms may be assigned. Once these mechanisms are included in the requirements, they can be implemented accordingly. These mechanisms will be reflected in the system architecture.